Hi, this is Dr. Bradshaw with Wilmington Functional Medicine, and today we're going to be talking about how to properly run a stool test. Yes, we're going to be playing with poop. So if you have a kit that looks like this, you are in the right place. The U.S. Biotech Stool Collection Kit. If your test kit does not look like this, you just need to have the right video sent to you. So contact our office and make sure they give it to you. Let's look in our kit and make sure you have all the right parts before we get started. So you open up your box. There are going to be a few things you have in here. One is in a little instruction booklet, microbiome collection instructions. You should have that. There should be another piece of paper, same size. It's called a requisition form. It's going to have some highlighted things there at the, uh, near the top. You're going to need that. There should be a FedEx envelope in there. It looks like this. Uh, there we go. A big one. Set that aside. We'll need that later. There will be a FedEx label. Make sure that's in there. Put that over there with your envelope. There should be two tubes. One with a red cap, sorry, a green cap with red fluid in it. It looks like this. And then there should be a white cap uh, tube that's empty. Okay, set those aside. There should be a paper bag with little blue pieces of tape attached to it. It looks like this. And finally, your biohazard bag here. So let's set aside the box. Don't throw it away. We're going to need this to send your stool test back. The specimen bag will set off to the side. And the paper, uh, the, what the blue tape, the collection bag. We'll set that off to the side for the moment. The FedEx stuff, obviously, we're going to deal with that at the very end. We're going to talk about the requisition form first and foremost. We're going to deal with some paperwork. So what you are going to do with this form, it should say uh, here at the top or it should be highlighted with the yellow box and then over here on the side. Those are the areas you need to fill out, okay? So you'll in this box up at the top, you'll put in the date that you collected the stool. So that may not be today, but just when you collect your stool, that's, that's the date that goes on there. Uh, and you can put on there um, uh, that it was refrigerated because we're going to refrigerate your stool when we're done before we send it. And then the other section is just your demographics, name, date of birth, address, etc., etc. So once you have filled that out, we're done with that. That does need to go back to the lab. So go ahead and just take that right now and put that back in your box. Obviously, don't fill out the date yet, but put that back in your box so you don't forget that because that will go back with your um, sample. Let's look at the instruction sheet. Let's talk about how this test is actually supposed to be run. So the front side talks about some general guidelines here in these two blue paragraphs. This is a one day stool sample. So you'll poop one sample in the box, done. Um, make sure with the red tube, there's, uh, sorry, the uh, red fluid tube, that fluid is not to be touched and not to be drank or consumed under any circumstance. So if you do, it is a 911 situation. Okay, so keep kids out of this, keep pets out of this. Uh, and obviously don't throw it away because this is actually part of the, set, the sample that we're going to need. So just make sure that you're careful with this is my point. Okay, um, and then let's talk about what you're going to do and not do prior to this test. So two weeks before running this test, you need to be off of the following drugs. Antibiotics, antifungal drugs, those are like candida type yeast type treatments, um, and NSAIDs like acetaminophen, ibuprofen, those things. You need to be off it for a full two weeks, okay? Now, for some of you, um, if you just started one of these medications, you could probably get away with being off of it for a week. Um, but for many of you who have been on those drugs long-term, you need to be off it for a full two weeks before you start this. So if you plan on doing this tomorrow and you've been on these drugs, you're going to need to get off of those drugs for two weeks before you run this test. Um, so just put, keep that in mind. Three days before the test. Here's what you have to stop doing. Oral castor oil, probiotics, laxatives, aspirin. Also take any gut associated supplements such as prebiotics, uh, digestive enzymes, uh, detox, liver, minerals, and herbs, um, and then amino acids. Okay, so three days prior to your test, there's eight things you need to check, and that's on your list. So go ahead and just look at that list. You don't need to write that down. It's all there on the list. Just look at that and just make sure you get off of those things for three days before you get to do this test. And then two days before the test, it says for you to follow your normal diet, to incorporate, if possible, meat, fish, poultry, vegetables, 
carbohydrates and fats. Probably most of you do all that anyway, but just make sure that you're actually eating. You're not fasting before the test. You're not doing some uh, strange cleanse or diet that you normally wouldn't do uh, prior to this for two days. You really just need to eat normal. That's the whole point. If you're vegetarian or if you're vegan, eat that way. That's fine. You don't have to eat meat. Uh, they're just saying if you generally eat a certain way, make sure you generally eat that way prior to your test, at least two days before your test. Okay, so if you've been fasting for two days, don't run your test today. Uh, eat normal for a couple of days before you do this test. Okay, so those are the instructions prior to the test. Let's talk about actually running the test the day of. Okay, we talked about the contents of the kit. I want to show you how you're going to collect your stool. This is obviously the, one of the big important parts, right? I want to show you how you're going to use this piece of paper, which we're going to unfold, and you will see it has legs, almost like a seven-legged spider. It's going to look like this. Or I should say five-legged, I apologize. So I'm actually going to take you into the bathroom and show you how to adhere this and attach it to the toilet because it's important. Because you want to make sure you do this correctly. Okay? So, let's take a little trip. Follow me. We're going to go into the bathroom. And you're going to see how to use this piece of paper. And how you're going to then collect your stool from that and put it into the tubes. So, we're going to make our way over here. We're going to make our way into the bathroom. Here we are. Put, I recommend you put your two tubes on the back of the toilet, like that. And then I'm going to show you how to attach the paper onto. Oh, sorry about that at home. Didn't mean that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Okay. Here we are. So you're gonna take your five-legged spider and you have these little blue pieces of tape. You're gonna take the one that's on the back in the middle and you're going to take that off so you see the blue tape. And you're gonna put that, so this is the one in the middle on the top. There's two legs over here on this side and there's two legs over here on this side. This is the one in the back. This is gonna go on the back of the toilet back here. And so what I want you to do is make sure before you do this, take some toilet paper, just make sure that toilet bowl, that rim is totally dry, okay? So we're going to take that, we're going to adhese that right there in the back, okay? And then we're going to do the exact same thing with the other ones. Don't let the paper hit the water. I mean, you can, but ideally don't. So we're going to take those pieces of tape off. We're going to attach our legs to the side of the bowl. This is going to be your poop catcher, essentially. Okay? So you don't have to like poop into a bowl or some sort of weird colander at home. You're just going to just be right on the toilet and you're going to poop directly into this catcher. And you want to put the tape in a position so your bottom is nice and flat. You don't want it to be up too high or at an angle because your poop will kind of roll off into the water. All right? You kind of want to set it up so the, that catcher is pretty flat, right? You don't want it to be angled like this or like this. Nice and flat like mine is. Okay? And then obviously, you are going to then poop, the next time you have to poop, into and onto this catcher. Okay? So let's assume that's already been done. All right? You've pooped. You've got your, you've got your sample. Now what you're going to do is actually collect your sample. So you're going to take your tubes, and we're going to use this green one with the red uh, fluid in it. And you can see, actually, if you look on your tube, there is a red line right here. We will have also extended that line with a marker, just so you can see it really well. You can see your fluid is shy, or less than, that line. You're going to fill poop into this tube so it gets up to that line, okay? So you're going to unscrew your cap, and in your cap, or sorry, in your lid, you're going to see that there's a little spork, a little spoon, hybrid spoon fork thing that looks like this. And you're going to take that and you're going to scoop poop from your sample out and into your tube. Okay? And you need to get enough poop into your tube 
So obviously you get it up to that line. Okay, once you're up to that line, you're good. And once you're done with that, we're gonna take it, shake it for a good 10 seconds. Okay? And then once you get to 10 seconds, then you're good. All right? Make sure now that you've done that, is you're gonna write your name, you're gonna write the date that you've had this sample taken, you're gonna put the time that this is collected, so whatever, four o'clock in the afternoon, and then your ID should be your date of birth. Okay, so ID is date of birth, name, date, time. Done. But that's one, two. We need to do the other two. Now this tube has no fluid, okay? So this one, you're gonna to need to put more poop into it. Again, there is a line that has been marked on there at the 20 milliliter mark, 20 ml, and you can see there's little marks on there. You can't really see it with this video, but you can see when you look at your tube, five milliliter, 10 milliliter, 15, 20. We're gonna go up to the 20 milliliter mark, which is what I just marked with that marker. You need to put enough poop, again, from the sample in there. So again, use your little spoon device, scoop it out, put it in there. Now what I recommend when you're actually scooping this out is you collect from the middle of your stool and then from each end, the back end and the front end of the stool. So that we kind of get a good um, sampling of the entire stool into your tube. So with this one, because you're going to be putting a lot more poop into it, you should collect again from the middle end end. Go back to the middle end end and try to get from different spots within that poop. And again, get enough in there so you get it up to there. There is no fluid in this one, so there's no shaking to be done when you're done. Just make sure you get enough poop in there so you get up to that line. Close it off. You'll do the exact same thing as the other one. You're going to put your name on there. You're going to put your date of birth, today's date, and the time that you took your sample, 4 p.m. if it's what it is, and close it off. And make sure that both of these lids are tight. You do not want this to leak in route to the lab. So your stool samples are done. We're packed in, tubes are ready to go. Now I'm going to show you how to actually uh, pack those tubes up and get them uh, put back and sent to the lab. And before we do that, just real quick, Obviously, this is a flushable uh, stool. So just take the tape, rip it off, throw it in the toilet, flush. Whole thing done. Okay? Nice and easy. So let's go back to the uh, to your box, to your envelope. And let me show you how we're going to do that. We've got our tubes. We're going to send them off. Now, it needs to be refrigerated prior to being sent off. Okay, so what I'm going to recommend is that you just go right into the kitchen or wherever you have a refrigerator, maybe one in the garage, and you're going to take those tubes and you're going to put them into the fridge because we're going to refrigerate them at least for a couple of hours. You're going to refrigerate them because they are going to go overnight to the lab, but they find that it just works better if you refrigerate them for a couple hours first in terms of uh, how the sample holds up, especially during the summer months if you're mailing this in the summer. So, you're gonna take your tubes, refrigerate them, and now we're ready to send them off, okay? So you're gonna take out your specimen bag. Remember that, I showed you that earlier. You're gonna drop your tubes into the bag. It's a Ziploc, Ziploc it up. Okay, that is going to go into the initial box that it came with. Okay, so that's gonna go in and your requisition form that you filled out earlier. Remember, we put that in the back of the box earlier. That must go in there. And you're gonna close it up. Fold these little tabs back in there so the box doesn't open up and around. And this whole box is now going to go into your FedEx bag. So we're gonna open up that bag. Put this in. Your FedEx bag has a little plastic liner. You're gonna take that, peel that off, seal it up with the adhesive, and now that's good. You just need to make sure that your FedEx label ends up onto the front, like this. There is a part that you do keep, the side little, if you actually can see that at home here on the video, these little ends fold up you can see them kind of folded up right here. You can tear these little ends off. And those are actually what you keep as part of your um, tracking. So you just take the big middle part like this 
You're going to peel that part off. That peels off. And that is what goes on to the front. Like that. And now you're set. It does go overnight. So make sure that you get it to them um, on a day where they can deliver on the next day. The lab is not open on Sunday. So to drop it off on a Saturday is problematic. Okay, so only drop this off on a Monday through a Friday. Uh, it does go to Washington. So most of us are here in North Carolina. That's a long trip. So it might even be better to make sure uh, if you don't, if you send it on a Monday through a Thursday, then we'll make sure they probably get it on a business day, Monday through Friday. I'm not sure how late the lab is open on Saturday. So let's just say we're going to send it Monday through Thursday. And it's okay if you want to keep your tubes in the fridge for a couple of days. It's not a problem. But you just need to make sure that you send that off on a Monday through a Thursday so they get it overnight. And you're set. The closest one to us here in Wilmington is near College at Oleander, a FedEx Kinko's. Um, if you're not near Wilmington and you're some other area, you will need to find one that not only um, takes these sort of things like biohazardous material, you need to ask your FedEx uh, nearest branch if they actually accept biohazardous materials. Not all of them do. Um, and then make sure that they're, uh, they're open on the Monday through Thursday because you want to make sure you drop it off. And they're going to be open for you. And that's it. We're done. We get the test results back usually within 10 business days, so two weeks um, at the latest. So if something is, is uh, going on at the lab, it's going to make it a little longer. They'll let us know. We'll let you know. But otherwise, expect to have these results back soon, and we look forward to going over them with you. There's so much to be learned and gain from a stool test. We can't wait to go over the results with you and let you know what's going on and how it might relate to your health and your symptoms. So we wish you luck with this and we'll see you soon.